Hey students, uh, good afternoon students. Today we discuss about the uh, twelfth commerce subject. Afternoon video. In this afternoon video, we start a new chapter that is grievance redressal mechanism. So in this chapter we discuss about the various grievance cell organized by the government in order to protect the interests of the consumer while consuming the product and also various uh, councils forum will be established in order to make a comp complaint collected and uh, fulfill the satisfaction of the consumers so first we discuss about the consumer council the consumer protection act postulates establishment of consumer protection council at the district level state and central level for the purpose of spreading consumer awareness so of the objectives of the council as per the act shall be to promote and protect the rights of the consumers so these consumer councils are to be established in order to protect the consumer from the unscrupulous traders while consuming the product by the consumers so as per the consumer protection act these councils are to be established there is a three tier courts or quasi judiciary that is national level commission that is the complaint will be accepted more than 1 crore state level commission that is the complaint will be accepted about 20 lakhs but below 1 crore and a district forum will be established in order to collect the complaint from the consumer below 20 lakhs so in these three tier courts or quasi judiciary the government will save the consumer and the government will make a grievances awareness to the consumer while consuming the product <clears throat> in the district level as per the consumer protection act of 1986 section 9 the there of the establishment of the district forum by the state government in each district is necessary today to protect the interest of aggrieved consumers in that district so those consumers are to be affected by consuming the product which are produced by the traders supplied by the traders so this district forum will be established by the state government in order to safeguard the interest of the consumers so in this district forum complaints can be filed with the forum by the consumer so complaints can also be filed by the central or state government or by a group of consumers so this district forum will collect the complaints in this district forum the members will be a person who is or who has been or is qualified to be a district judge as its president so the president of the district forum will be the person who a qualified a district judge and two members who shall be persons of ability integrity and standing and have adequate knowledge or experience of or who have shown their capacity in dealings with the problems related to economics law commerce accountancy industry public affairs or administration so in this district forum the president will be the judge and two members will be have a special qualifications so the district forum can entertain complaints within the territory of genuine district and where the value of goods or service and the compensation if any claimed is less than 20 lakhs so this district forum will uh, collect the complaint from the consumer about the dissatisfaction of the product uh, or services so the complaint and the compensation will not be exceeded 20 lakhs <coughs> every proceedings 
before the district forum shall be deemed to be judicial proceedings within the meaning of uh, section 193 and 228 of the Indian Penal Code and uh, forum shall be deemed to be the civil court. If the value of the complaint uh, exceeds uh, the, li this limit of 20 lakhs, the complaint should be made district to the state commission. So further, the district firm also pay pass orders against traders indulging the unfair trade practices, sale of defective goods or rendering deficient services. The turnover of the goods or value of service does not exceed 20 lakhs. Next day. Appellate from firms that is in this case the aggrieved party can prefer appeal against the order passed by the district firm to the state commission. Suppose if the consumer or the trader will not satisfy the judgment given by the district firm, then they can make an appeal in the state level, state commission. So state consumer disputes, redressal commission or state commission. So that state commission is to be appointed by the state government in consultation with the center. That is central. It has the same function as state level. The state consumer protection council is also known as consumer disputes redressal commission. So both goods and services are included in the purview of the council. A consumer has to be protected against defects, deficiencies and unfair and restrictive trade practices. So the state consumer protection is also called as state commission. So in this state commission, the member should be the president is a person who is or has been a judge in the high court appointed by the state government as president and two other members who shall be persons of ability, integrity and standing and have adequate knowledge or experience of or have shown capacity in dealing with the problems related to commerce, economics, law, industry, public affairs or administration of them. So one shall be a woman member. Out of the two member, one shall be a woman member. So in this state level commission, the state commission can entertain complaints within the territory of the entire state and where the value of the goods or services and the compensation if any claimed exceeds 20 lakhs but below 1 crore rupees. So that type of com complaint will be received by this state commission and make compensation. The state commission also has the jurisdiction to entertain appeal against the order of the any district forum within the state powers so the state commission also has the power to call for records and pass appropriate orders in any consumer dispute which is pending before or has been decided by any district forum within the state so if any case are to be pending in the district forum the state commission will have a power to call for the records and pass appropriate orders to the consumers dispute to produce before and allow to be examined by an officer of any of these agencies such books of accounts documents or com commodities as may be required and to keep such books documents etc under his custody for the purpose of the act and to furnish such information that may be required for the purpose of the act then appellate forum the state commission jurisdiction may be original appellate or revision so the state commission may reserve or confirm the orders passed by the district firm so this state commission will pass an order if the district firm if any order is passed the state commission will pass a reverse order sometimes any person aggrieved by an order of the state commission may prefer a, an appeal 
to the National Commission within 30 days from the date of such a order. So the person they can make an appeal if he is dissatisfied the order given by the state commission. Within 30 days they can make appeal in the national level. National Commission. So the National Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission India is a quasi judicial commission in India which was set up in 1988 under the Consumer Protection Act 1986. So its head office is in New Delhi. The commission is headed by a serving or retired judge of the Supreme Court of India. So the National Consumer Dispute Redressal is also called as National Commission. Members' point of view, the National Commission should have five members. One should be from the judiciary, that is the president, and four other members of ability, knowledge, and experience from any other fields. And among the four members, one should be a woman member. <coughs> Section 21 of the Consumer Protection Act 1986 describes the National Commission shall have jurisdictions that is to entertain a complaint valued more than one crore revise the order of state commission to call for the records and pass appropriate orders from the state commission and the state forum so this national commission will have such powers that is adoption of uniform procedure in the hearing of the matters is followed in the national commission then prior service of copies of the document produced by one party uh, to the opposite uh, parties and speedy grant of copies of documents are issued by the National Commission. Finally, generally overseeing the functioning of the State Commission and the District Forum to ensure that the object and purpose of the Consumer Protection Act are best served without interfering with their quasi-judicial freedoms. So, appellate forum Any consumer dispute which uh, has pending before or has been decided by the State Commission but it appears to the National Commission that such State Commission has exercised uh, a jurisdiction not vested it, it by law or has failed to exercise a jurisdiction so vested uh, or has acted in the excess of its jurisdiction illegally or with a material irregularity. So, if any order will be passed by the State Commission that will not be satisfied by the consumer or a opposite party, they can appeal in the national level and this national commission will pass an order maybe favorably or unfavorably. Uh, sometimes a reverse order will be given by the National Commission if State Commission and the District Forum will pass any order. Section 23 of the Consumer Protection Act 1986 provide that any person aggrieved by an order or National Commission may prefer an appeal against such order to Supreme Court of India within a period of a 30 days. So with that we conclude this video session. Students you can go through all the points which are taught in this video and uh, write all the answers in your commerce assignment notebook. And uh, don't forget to send a task complete message in the group without fail. Thank you.